Lanny Vigut. Welcome to Coffee and CEOs. I believe that strong leaders are, are strong decision makers, and that doesn't mean you make the right one every time, but it's the ability and the capacity to make a decision. Why don't you just give us a little background on who we are and what you do? Well, Carnivore Meat Company is a raw pet food manufacturing company. We produce uh, raw meat diets for dogs, cats, and other carnivorous animals all over the world. Uh, we're based here in Green Bay. We have three locations. Uh, our brand is called Vital Essentials. That's in the, uh, in the pet food space, in the marketplace, and uh, Vital Essentials can be purchased at about 6,000 independent pet specialty stores all over the country, and it's available in 14 different countries across the globe. So you've had some uh, rapid growth and uh, hiring retention in today's marketplace is so challenging. There, there aren't enough good workers out there for um, the positions that are available. Uh, how did you go about finding these great people to grow so quickly? What's the magic? And there's never a silver bullet. So we have a several prong approach. Um, some of our, our, our best people come from referrals of our current team. Um, you know, recently we, we uh, implemented a, uh, a referral program where we uh, recognize those who bring others uh, to the organization as candidates for different roles. We also have a, what I, what I believe is uh, a very unique and specialized recruiting and selection system. The process that we have is just as important for us as it is for the person who's going to be joining our company or who's considering joining our business. So it really starts with a role description. And it's right. not just a list of tasks. Uh, it's about, we incorporate the behavioral portion of it. For example, we talked about the candor, uh, the candid uh, conversations with teammates and vendors and, and, and management. That's, that's built right into the role description. When you come to, into our organization, you do everything you can to help each other be successful. Right. You do whatever it takes, whatever is necessary, such that a customer has a great experience. So those things aren't relative to the job that they applied, that they're actually going to do in, in terms of tactical, you know, day-to-day -day activities. Right. But those behaviors um, have to be exhibited every day. Culture is everything in successful companies. It's engage. It's how you engage internally, externally. It's building out that customer experience, and we found. Yeah, the, the tasks of the job can be taught, but the culture is the culture, the person you're bringing on, and the more intentional you can be about it, the better. And it sounds like you're doing a really good job with that. Yeah, I think part of it is, is recruiting for the things that you can't teach. Congratulations, great growth, everything you're doing, spot on uh, from what we've learned in our expertise. Uh, no doubt you're there's reasons you're successful, and thank you for sharing them with us. What's next? Yeah, great question. Uh, we've always been an opportunistic organization. And what I mean by that is, uh, you know, when I first started, you know, someone asked, where, where do you think you might be in five years? And, and I was thinking, man, if we could take a bankrupt business from a little less than a million to five million, we'd be rock stars. What we've learned along the way is there's been more opportunity for us than than any of us ever would have thought. I'll say this, the, the companies, the organizations that are in our space that do similar things that we do um, are in a really great place. Um, from a standpoint of consumers coming into that, you know, transitioning from commodity pet food into ultra premium, natural, real meat diets. And uh, the fact that our competitors are trying to get in that market space and they're doing everything they can to get in that. That, that tells me we're in the right place. Right, and right. There's a, you know, I believe that, you know, I'll, I'll probably be gone, you know, from the industry by the time it happens, but I think in 10 years, the products that we produce today uh, will be the market share leader in the pet food space.